For this I want intercom integration, we need DaVinci 8.9 or later. But before we get stuck into RacePoint, we need to set up the door station. And we do that by logging into the IP address of the door station. And then the default username and password is admin and 2n. And then it asks you to change the username and password. Once logged in, we need to navigate to system. And then to maintenance, to make sure we're running the latest firmware, which you can upgrade here if you need to. After the firmware update, we go back home to our intercom station and then go and set up the services. First, we start with the phone and we want to set up the incoming calls for SIP 1 and 2 on the calls to be automatic. And then we hit save. Now that the incoming automatic calls are set up, we go to audio. We want to enable PCMU, PCMA, and 7.22 here. And then the priorities, we need to set up PCMU to 2, which is already set. The PCMA, we want to go to the highest. And the G722, we want to go to 3. And then save. After we save the phone settings, we go to streaming. And we want to enable the RTSP. We also want to enable the audio stream, video stream, and set the video codec to H.264. On the H.264 settings, we want to set the video resolution to 640 times 480. We want to go to 15 frames per second at a bit rate of 512. And the very same setup for the MPEG-4, 640 times 480, 15 frames per second at 512 kilobits per second, and then we'll save. Now that we set up the streaming, we move on to the HTTP API. And under services, we want to set the camera API to TCP with authentication, authentication basic, and then we hit save. And then we go to account one. We want to enable the account. And we want to set up username and password, which is not the same as your door station username and password. This is used for the OnViv, so create a new password for this. Then after we've put the um, OnViv password in here, we want to make sure we tick all the privileges here under the HTTP API, so we have full access on everything. Okay, make sure all of these monitoring and control options are fully ticked, otherwise you won't get much. And then we go to the ONIF settings. We want to save that, yes. Punch in your username that we've just used here for the HTTP API and that same password, and then hit save. Go back to the home screen of our intercom station and go and set up the hardware. Click on camera, internal camera. This is where we can enable the motion detection and then also change the sensitivities and also the area where you want that triggered. Then we hit save. Under audio, we want to make sure that we disable the noise detection. You don't want to have that enabled as a low sensitivity could overload the system host. So please make sure that's unticked. And then the other thing we want to check is on the buttons. You want to make sure that we don't have a quick dial button here installed. If you have one, then delete it and save. If you do have any 
door lock control you can click on switches and set up those switches here enable them uh, hit the switch mode how long it's going to switch for choose the relay you want to switch and then also if you have a keypad to uh, for keypad door entry you can put a passcode on here for your access that's it that's the door station set up now that we've successfully configured the door station we open up our race point blueprint file and we go to the library search for 2n helios which by the way will be doing all the 2n one source stations we can then name the device after we drop it in our equipment list to be front gate create it drag in our interface connect it to the network switch and please make sure that you never put any IP addresses in the actual inspector itself. First we want to go and generate the services. And you see it's created all the services and then we go to tools, settings, security camera and now we add the IP address of our door station for the camera feed. Uh, the username and password which is the same as we put before in the door station for the HTTP API and on if data and then we hit done and now we're going to set up the door station by clicking on tools settings entry and we need to add the serial number of our door station here and we will find that Logging into the uh, door station itself on the status, we can just copy serial number, then go back and paste it in. We're going to change the duration of um, ringtone, enable the motion detector, do not enable the noise event because it can flood the host, and then you hit done. And then we're going to set up the door stations under tool settings the entry event recording and we're going to tick the boxes that you've set up in your door station itself in our case the button and the uh, motion event I would not suggest to use the noise um, event at all you could use temper proof whatever you set up in the 2n you need to tick here Hit done now that the door station is set up we can also add some custom button to your interface by clicking on tools, settings, and then entry. And this is the button I ignored before. You can click on that button. You can add a maximum of four buttons to trigger other stuff on your intercom. You can add a button. And for example, we can name that um, driveway. lights on and then we can select the zone and the lighting service where that light is connected to see bus dyno light or whatever you're using for your lighting service basically you will have that button here at the bottom of your intercom to turn on the lights of your driveway if somebody is there now that we've set up the intercom door station and we have configured our blueprint um, race point file we basically need to upload it to the host and then fire up the app so i've just fired up the app here and let's see if it works so here's my entry door that comes up as a service i'll just click on it and then the camera shows up i can tap and talk something while actually hello check one two actually anybody having to call me but obviously people can call from the door station and that will come up and you'll see at the bottom also the driveway lights that i can now turn on when I'm looking at the camera of my front gate. If you wanted to receive calls from outside of your local network, you need to click on the three lines in the app and then go to settings and set up the push notification so you can do that. For greater detail on this instruction, please find the link below in the video. Uh, but that's pretty much how you set up the intercom in this month.